my legion. How are you all doing today? It's been a while since I've done anything re involving uh, America's Test Kitchens. I saw this episode today about hot sauce and which hot sauce is best. And I think they really were inspired by hot one, just the way they did this whole thing. It wasn't like interview, it was a taste test. And uh, it involved, uh, well, they say hot sauce, but it involved Louisiana hot sauce with a specific brand. Uh, basically like a cayenne pepper based sauce. And they had some of the history of it through a publication called Soul Food. And way back in the 1800s, this one guy was trying to fight cholera and he would give some people uh, chili peppers and it would help a lot. And then he, in order to preserve the chili peppers, he put them, uh, pour vinegar with them and made like kind of like a mash. And then they, and then that became popular. He uh, is Irish immigrant and he would share with other people. And that's how Louisiana uh, hot sauce was born. And most of us from New Iberia, Louisiana. And uh, the one thing that surprised me when they did a taste test, they did like five sauces. And they had like the chapters at the bottom of the of the page. I thought they'd give what they said, sauce A, B, C. Um, and uh, what they did was they took a, a shot of hot sauce right there. And then they would dip a chicken wing in there. That's where the thing with hot sauce came from. And there's the whole thing of like the whole lineup thing right here with the hot sauce they had here. No spoilers, they did not say which hot sauce was best. But they covered a whole range. I'm surprised they didn't go for the traditional ones that are easy to find in uh, in stores. Three of them are. But they have Pierre, Pierre's, uh, and they have Flap Your Mama, which is basically, it might be in some stores where it's uh, mail order hot sauce. I'm surprised they include those instead of including like, like Trappy's hot sauce, which is the one that I remember um, was the main hot sauce when I was in the child, Trappy's hot sauce. And it was like, it had like the picture of the bull on it, on that one. And I'm surprised they have like that, or they have uh, Texas Pete. So those two uh, fancier ones that are more money. Now they re uh, they had like for like the uh, like six hundred Scoville units to thirty seven hundred Scoville units, and I, everyone if they know their hot sauce they know what the hottest one's gonna be, and it was the one that thirty seven hundred that, that's as hot as they went to. The hottest one was gonna be Tabasco, and uh, that of course was number five. They have I guess that already, uh, but they even had a listing. They didn't say which hot sauce was ranked number one, but it had like. Uh, what reviewers thought of each hot sauce, and no one disliked any of the hot sauces. They went from Scoville units like 450, I think, which was uh, Trappies, up to the Tabasco. My personal favorite is Frank's Red Hot. That's why I grew up on. And I, I had Tabasco too, but I always like Frank's Red Hot better. So that's when uh, Hot Ones met America's Test Kitchens. I hope you like the video, buddy. Till next time, please take care of the leech.